Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have the golden ratio problem, which is a n is equals to 1 plus k root 5 over 2. This ratio is known as the golden ratio. And we will solve this problem for the value of n to the power of 12. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first I can simplify this golden ratio as in the form of n is equals to 1 plus square root 5 over 2 this is the our golden ratio here uh, I can just move this 2 in the right hand side and you get 2 times of n is equals to 1 plus square root of 5 after that I can move this plus 1 in the left hand side and you get 2n minus 1 is equals to square root of 5 and now I can just take the square on both of the sides so when you can take the square on both of the sides this expression will become in this form so now we can apply uh, the nice square formula in the left hand side and you get 2n square plus 1 square minus 2 times of 2n into 1 is equals to here you see that this 2n square are gone and you get plus 5 and now we can make the little bit simplification here and you see that we have the square of 2n will be equals to 4n square and the square of 1 is 1 minus 2 times of 2n is equals to 4n and whole is equal to we have 5 and we move this 5 in the left hand side so it will becomes minus 5 and whole is equals to 0 and now we can uh, add or subtract the like terms and you get 4 times of n squared and here you have minus 4 times of n and 1 minus 5 is equals to minus 4 and this whole is equals to minus 4 is equals to 0 so now you see that we have the common term is 4 on each of the terms so that we will divide each term by 4 so when you can divide each term by 4 on both of the sides then you get its output in the form of here you see that this 4 and 4 are gone and you get n squared minus this 4 and 4 are gone and here you get n minus these are gone and here you get 1 and whole is equals to 0. And now in the next step we will move the term minus n and minus 1 in the right hand side and you get the value of n squared is equals to n plus 1 and I can name this as equation number one because here we need this value in order to move the next forward so that uh, in the next step uh, I can uh, just write or just move towards the claim uh, so our claim is to find the value of n to the power of 12 and we will write this n to the power of 12 as n squared and its whole power 6 so here you see that we have n squared and the value of n squared is n plus 1 so we will put the value here and you get n plus 1 to the whole power 6 and now we can rewrite this equation as you can write n plus 1 to the power of 6 as n plus 1 to the power of 2 and its whole cubed and now we can open the square of n plus 1 so that it will be equals to n squared plus 1 plus 2 times of n and its whole cubed and now we can again put the value of n square and the value of n square is n plus 1 we can again use this value here and you get n plus 1 and this is plus 1 plus 2 times of n and its whole cubed and this value will be equals to n plus n is 3n and 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 and its whole cubed so after making some a little bit simplification we will get here the value of n to the power of 12 is equals to 3 times of n plus 2 and its whole cubed and now we can uh, move towards 
सो हेयर आई कैन राइट दिस थ्री एन प्लस टू होल क्यूब्ड एज थ्री एन प्लस टू टाइम्स of थ्री एन प्लस टू होल स्क्र वी कैन ब्रेक इट्स पावर थ्री एज वन प्लस टू बिकॉज यू कैन राइट इट एज थ्री एन प्लस टू इज थ्री एंड वी कैन राइट इट एज वन प्लस टू बिकॉज आफ्टर दैट आई कैन जस्ट ब्रेक इट्स एक्सपोनेंट एंड आई कैन राइट इन दिस फॉर्म एंड नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप आई कैन जस्ट ओपन द स्केयर ऑफ दिस टर्म एंड हेयर यू हैव थ्री एन स्क्ड and you get 3n squared plus 2 squared plus 2 times of 3n into 2 and now we can make some little bit simplification here and you get 3n plus 2 times of 9n squared plus 4 plus here you have 3 2 times of 3 6 6 times of 2 is 12 times of n and now we can again put the value of n square here and you know that uh, the value of n square is n plus 1 i can just put here the value of n square here i can write the value of n square is n plus 1 so that we will again use this value and you get plus 4 plus 12 times of n and in the next step we can make some little bit simplification here and you get 3n plus 2 into 9n plus 9 plus 4 plus 12 times of n and now we make the like or add the like terms and you get 3n plus 2 times here you have 9n plus 12n and it is equals to 9 plus 12 is 21n plus 9 plus 4 is equals to 13 and now you have two factors and we can just multiply these two factors here so that first i can fix the 3n and we multiply 3n by 21 so 3 times of 21 is equals to 63 times of n square and plus 39 n plus 42 n plus 26 i can first fix 3 n and multiply both of the terms after that i can fix 2 and multiply both of these terms and you get the output in this form and here you have 63 times of n square and we will again use the value of n square and you know that the value of n square is n plus 1 and we have 39 plus 42 and 39 n plus 42 and is equals to 81 n plus 26 and now we can just simplify these terms we can multiply 63 on both of the terms and you get 63 times of n plus 63 plus 81 n plus 26 and now we can add the like terms here and you get 63 plus 81 is equals to 144 times of n plus 63 plus 26 is equals to 89 and now finally we can put the value of n here and in the start of the question we see that n is equals to 1 plus k root 5 over 2 so we will back substitute the value of n and you get 144 into 1 plus k root of 5 over 2 plus 89 so here you cancel this term and you get 72 so we multiply the 72 on both of the terms and you get 72 plus 72 times of square root of 5 plus 89 and here finally you add 72 plus 89 and you get 161 plus 72 times of square root of 5 and in the left hand side you have n to the power of 12 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos